Look, I was having this conversation with this individual, right? And we was talking. Now, listen, I'm fixing to give you all some game and knowledge. Take it if you want, or you can ignore what I'm saying. If you ever see a man going from house to house to house to house, eating, he's unstable. That's not a stable man. He have what I call um, a loose stomach. If you ever see a woman running from house to house to house, eating with to-go boxes. If you ever see a woman doing that, going from house to house to house, getting to-go boxes, she's single. If she's not single and she's in a relationship, she will soon to be single. I ain't never, I ain't, listen, I ain't never in my life, I ain't never in my life met a woman that could cook and she was single. I ain't never, I ain't never in my life met that. Think about it. The, 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 think about it. The men that's running the streets, going from women to women to women to women, house to house to house to house. He don't have a stable home base to come home to. Why? Because the women he are picking, they can't cook. Think about it like this. Let's say you got a man, right? Wake up in the morning, you feed his behind and you send him out there to go to work. And then when he come home from work, you feed him again, and before he go to sleep, you feed him again, if you understand what I'm saying. You give him something to look forward to. When he wake up in the morning, he like, man, I don't feel like going to work. But look, he wake up in the morning, think about it like this. Joker wake up in the morning knowing he don't go, he, he don't want to go to work, but he wake up in the morning, look, listen, he could be laying there, he smell them cheese grits bubbling, them eggs getting scrambled toast in the oven or biscuits, deer sausage on the skillet or bacon. He wake up, he smell that. He gonna wake up, hurry up, brush teeth, put his work clothes on, go in there and sit down and eat that breakfast. He ready to conquer the day because you gave him something to go fight for. And then look, most guys, when they get off work, they ain't got nothing at home waiting for them. So when they get off work, they got to run to the gas station to get their beer or they got to stop and get something to eat. Imagine, imagine. Whatever he like to drink, you got that on ice. You got some seasoned chicken or some baked fish. Whatever it is he like to eat, waiting on the table for him to get home. He gonna hurry up, get up out of there and go to work. He ain't got time to hang around and talk. He flying back home because he know he got a warm meal on the table waiting for him. And then look, after he eat that warm meal, he gonna be like, ah, I'm home. He's gonna be, he ain't got no reason to run up and down the highway, go from house to house to house, chasing other women. Cause this woman at his house done cooked them breakfast, sent them out there to go conquer the world, come back home. He got a warm meal waiting on him and he got good loving right before he go to sleep. And look, look, when he go to sleep, he already know, oh, I got breakfast waiting on me in the morning. He gonna wake up again Tuesday, breakfast on the table again, go conquer the world, bring his behind back home, another warm meal. And then look, he going to wake up and do it again Wednesday. 95% of men don't live that kind of life. Only 5% do. The other 95%, they don't have nobody to cook for them. And look, and they be so happy when holidays like Easter rolls around because they know they're finally about to get a home cooked meal. That's why relationships are in the state that it's in. If you take your man to somebody else's house tomorrow to eat, you too will soon be single. That's like a stray dog. When a stray, look, when you take a stray dog and show him where food is, he's coming back because he know ain't no food where he come from. Listen, you can take what I'm saying and listen to it or you can throw it away. But that's, that's, that's the majority of y'all problems. You're not, you're not cooking for nobody. You're not showing love. So, see, the man ain't got nothing to fight for. He wake up in the morning pissed off, mad, because he know I ain't nothing in the kitchen cooking for me. So he got to go to work hungry and mad. See, mad at work all day, arguing with the supervisor, mad at everybody around him. And he know when he get off work, he ain't got nothing to wait for him, so he got to stop at the store, get him something to drink or eat, and he got to come home to nothing. Then he got to do it all over again, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and he know ain't nothing waiting on him on the weekend, so he might as well just work the whole weekend. He's forever in that cycle. Miserable, 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 miserable. He ain't got nothing to look forward to.